What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Robert. Please drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Um, thank you guys for watching. I see a lot of people are commenting and you know, just the engagement is high on the video and I really like to see everyone doing that. Uh, but yeah, enough of that. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the Jordan 35 in the DNA colorway. Let's start with the box. All right, so, you know, you got a special box here. Um, all white box. And on the top, you see you have the Roman numeral 35. Uh, on this side, you've got just a black Jumpman symbol. And then your size tag with that little hole there, but it's not a pullout box. There you go. And that's pretty much it. But this is kind of a special box. I want to get you guys a better image of this. So you pull this tab here. This part folds up, opens. Hope you can see that, I'm trying to get it up there. And then this part folds down and both of your shoes are inside right there. All right, <laughs> pretty nice box. I really do like this. Um, I really like when they do different stuff like this. Let me get this closed up, there we go. But yeah, enough about the box, here we have it the Jordan 35 in the DNA colorway. Now, I'm gonna start by saying I have not, well, no, I've never purchased a new Jordan. I consider this, you know, the new Jordan. I purchased pretty much all of the retros, so all the ones that I grew up, you know, watching Jordan play in, so all like, you know, one through 14, all those special ones that he wore, you know, I really like those. But this is the first one that I purchased of the, they're like new kind of, um, you know, numbered Jordan models, or the kind of flagship model, I guess I'll call it. Um, this one really, really, really caught my eye. I was like, man, that colorway looks nice. You know, they had that really bright blue and orange colorway. It looks cool. I mean, the colors draw, uh, you know, kind of draw me to that shoe, but I just didn't really like it, the color blocking of that overall. Then there was, I think, uh, I saw an image of the Bayou Boys, which I think is um, Zion Williamson's, I guess, colorway or PE version. And um, then I saw this one. I was like, man, this one right here is clean. I'm liking the way that looks on that 35. I'm going to have to get it just to try it out. So I did. Um, well, let's start with the uh, lateral side of the shoe, guys. You've got this kind of white upper here. And this part is like, it's got this kind of mesh looking overlay over. It's not soft. You've got enough support around there. But you can see that it definitely has elements of the Air Jordan 5 in this shoe. For example, these actually um, on the heel there, or the ankle area, you got those kind of areas right there that kind of stick out from the side of the shoe, which are present on the Jordan 5. Um, you've also got that black suede that lines the shoe that kind of leads over into this iridescent uh, Jordan Jumpman patch there. And then that kind of leads all back down into the shoe again here with that black suede. Now that suede is kind of nice, man. I, I actually like the way it looks, you know, on feet too. Uh, you've also got um, these white flight, I think flight wire cables are what they're calling them, which kind of uh, help provide a little more lockdown support um, for when you're playing on the court and everything. Um, you've also got, which is, you know, the most, you know, recognizable part of this shoe in my opinion, that eclipse plate is what they're calling it. So you can actually see through the other side there. I don't know if you can see me there, but you can see all the way through there. And you can also see the zoom units there on the side in red, which that's kind of cool. And it's, that's not just the, the eclipse plate here. It's not just black. There's kind of like, it's like a metallic finish over top. So it's like this black metallic looking finish on the eclipse plate. Um, you've also got that white midsole there. Okay. Uh, moving around to the toe box. We um, you know, talked a little bit about some of the Jordan 5 elements. And here's another one. You've got those kind of like, that little white kind of mesh there on the toe box that leads all the way up the tongue. That is also reminiscent of the actual mesh that appears on the side of the Jordan 5. Um, you've got this little black strip on the toe there with 23 in red. 
and you've got these kind of white and black laces. And then at the top of the tongue, you've got that most recognizable tongue probably, that black tongue with the red Jumpman, which is an obvious nod to the Jordan 5 Retro. And a little pull tab over top there. Um, looking on the inside of that tongue, you do have 35 there in those Roman numerals again. If you can see that. Okay. All right, moving around to the medial side of the shoe, same thing. That black suede lining the shoe that's lead, leading over into that iridescent little patch there, and then more suede. You got those uh, flight wire cables there that lead up from the eclipse plate, eclipse plate to provide you a little more lockdown in the shoe. And on this side, obviously, you can see that the eclipse plate is not as large on the medial side of the shoe as it is on the lateral side and that white midsole there. Yeah, I'm really feeling this colorway, man. This is this is clean. Uh, moving around, you know, to the uh, heel of the shoe, sorry. Yeah, the actual heel of the shoe. You've got that white midsole, the black suede, and then up from there, you've got this kind of little tab on the back there that reads Nike Air on that side. And on the other side of the tab, there's a Jumpman symbol. Okay. So get images of that, get a look at that. Okay. Now, moving to the sole of the shoe, you've got an icy blue sole there. And as you can see, that big Jumpman symbol, hold on one second, that big Jumpman symbol in the middle of the sole in the words air zoom there, because you do have two visible zoom air units on this shoe. One in the actual heel of the shoe and one in the forefoot area of the shoe. There you go. Yeah, um, you know, that's about all for the Jordan 35. Wait, I just wanna give you, sorry about that, one look at the insole if I can. It's just a black insole with a red jump man. I don't know if you can see that there. And there is quite a bit of cushion around the Achilles area there too. Yep. Yeah, that's the Jordan 35. But before we move on to the on feet, I do have the Jordan 5 Fire Red here. This is the 2020 release with the Nike Air on the back. So as I mentioned, you know, with some of the later models of the uh, Jordan shoes they've been producing, they've been pulling um, different elements from some of the earlier or like Jordan models. Like in, in this example, the Jordan 5, you've got that kind of those around the heel area, these areas that kind of poke out from the shoe, you can see that same thing is visible on the Jordan 35. Those things here, you can see obviously they poke out a lot on the Jordan 5. Not as much on the 35 though. All right. And then you've got that recognizable tongue there. This one is kind of laced up tight, but you know the drill. You can see there, that five tongue they put on the Jordan 35. All right. And then there they've got also, as I mentioned, the mesh earlier on the sides of the shoe. They place that, I guess you could say the side, but on the, it's more visible kind of that mesh pattern on the actual toe area of the Jordan 35 and all the way up the tongue of the shoe. Yeah, so that was, uh, that's pretty nice. I really like this shoe, by the way, too. This is clean. If you didn't pick this one up, you should probably grab it because the leather is super soft on this one. But yeah, that is the Jordan 35 DNA. Let's take a look at these things on feet.
All right, guys, we're back. I just want to give you some of my final thoughts on the Jordan 35 and the DNA colorway. Now, if you don't, the question is, should you pick this shoe up? My opinion is, I don't think that it's, you know, it's not necessary to grab, but I will honestly say that this is one of the newer Jordan models that caught my eye. As soon as I saw it, I was like, that colorway, I've got to get it. You know, obviously, it's a nod to the Chicago color, you know, color blocking or colorway of shoes. So that's probably why I like it a lot. Just in the white and black, it's just really clean. Um, so yeah, if you've got a chance to pick it up, I think the last I checked, there were only a couple sizes left on Nike. Um, so yeah, you might want to just check a couple of the stores, see if they have them if you're looking for this pair. I was actually able to pick this up for under retail too on the Nike app. They were having a sale um, like 20 or 25 percent off something like that so yeah i picked these up for a pretty good deal which i was happy about too um as far as the sizing on the shoe you could go true to size if you want um and they'll fit fine out of the box i brought this in a nine and a half to try out and they fit pretty good i will say that like on my feet i have a slightly wide foot that this top part of the shoe was pushing down on my foot a little bit but when i started walking around in them a little bit more it started to loosen up so I'm you know if you're playing basketball in these and you know once you wear them a while my guess is that they're gonna feel a lot better but like I mentioned with my wide foot out of the box it was kind of pinching on the top of my big toe area uh, yeah that's about it for the Jordan 35 in the DNA colorway thank you for watching please like this video and subscribe to the channel and comment down below let me know do you guys actually like this 35 how do you feel about it? I mean, do you like the colorway? Do you like the model of the shoe? Did you pick it up? Let me know. Again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.